Back before the Civil War, everyone knows that the United States was very racist and segregated, and the leading cause of that was slavery. I've heard that racism is bad in the South, but there's also some in the North, too. You are right. There is racism in all the U.S. Which is worse, the South or the North? They both were different because the North had a de facto, while the South had de jure segregation. Oh, isn't de jure like the law and de facto just the way people act? Yes, you are right about that. Well, why did segregation continue into the 1930s? For many reasons, with the help of some laws in the South. Are you talking about the Jim Crow laws? Yes. Since the South had de jure segregation, the Jim Crow laws could be used. Didn't the Jim Crow laws deny the African Americans of their civil rights? So you have learned the Jim Crow laws before? Yes, I know all those crazy laws they used to have down there. I know, right? I would hate to live there at that time. Why would someone make a law that the two races couldn't play baseball too close to each other? Because they're racist. Do you know how the U.S. resolved the problem of these laws? Didn't the government step in to help the African Americans? Yeah, they passed the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to give the African Americans freedom, citizenship, and the right to vote. Hey, that reminds me of how Tom was not given a fair trial in the book To Kill a Mockingbird. So how was the North segregated? Well, the schools and the churches in the North were all separated by color. But is it really that bad if they both get the same education? That was the problem. The African American schools were in harsh conditions and all the supplies were handed down from the white schools. You know how they became mixed? Because of separate schools reminds me of how Scout and Jem went to an all-white school. The Civil Rights Movement worked with the states to try and unsegregate schools. The Civil Rights Movement was when the African Americans worked to boycott and protest to get their fair rights. I do know what that was. They helped to make a freer America. Today it is better, but not perfect yet. I've heard of some of all the racism we still have today. There isn't as much segregation, but I think there will always be some. All this talk really makes me think of how America had really messed up with not treating African Americans with the respect they deserved. Yeah, I just don't understand why they never liked them. They fought for us in war and never did anything to the U.S. to make us hate them. The people of communism used the videos and pictures of African Americans being abused and hit as propaganda to show that democracy was not great. It shows that we were lying and that people should not leave communism to go to democracy. Man, you sure know a lot about racism back then and today. Thank you so much for teaching me what went on back then. Here are photos of examples of the Jim Crow laws in the South. I like to catch up